morning, YouTube. So this is me, George Infanta. Finally, nice to meet you guys. So I already uploaded the part one and part two of our Switzerland travel vlog with my wife. So today's video is about the last part of our Switzerland travel vlog. So the video includes our day three to day six. So this is where we explore the Jungfrau region, Zermatt, and Zurich. And at the end of the video as well, I will be summarizing the tips that we did to be able to have this wonderful vacation in Switzerland without breaking the bank. So let's start. So here in Moren, you can also book hotels and stay here and there's also a lot of restaurants and activities that you can do. Our primary goal really for this third day is to visit the nearby villages of Lutherbrunnen before we go to Grindelwald, uh, which is our highlight of the day. So this is the uh, cable car going to Mandichen. Mandichen is also another uh, mountain that offers a good view of the rest of Lutherbrunnen. So this is Pierre Mandichen, the cable station going to Grindelwald. Grindelwald is right over there, that town from afar. And in Mandichen station, you might probably see this cow playground in the internet. So it's here. And there are Alps as well. We'll take some pictures, then we'll start our ride going to the Gundawald town. See you later. minute walk from the train station towards Grindelwald first cable car ride so a little bit more walk then we'll reach our destination uh, guys we just hopped in in our last cable car going to Grindelwald first We just reached 
Grindelwald first. Of now we're doing our first quick walk. I would like the first quick walk. Of course. Yes. Okay. 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 food it's 12 35 if you have only knew that this is the place this is how the place would look like then we could have bought food for our lunch So if you want to walk through the waterfall, there's this trail going up. On our way to Zermatt, so this is our fourth day and of course to save time, we usually eat our breakfast on the go, so co-op 
puffers are ready to eat meals as well so we're having a sandwiches and no rice for today so if you have again the Swiss travel pass you don't need to pay extra for the travel so it's really convenient to get that Another tip for convenience, so in Interlaken and maybe most of the train stations, there's this locker for big luggages where you can rent it for about 7 Swiss franc for a day. So we left our luggages here before we travel to Zermatt and now we will get it back to go back to Zurich. So it's very convenient for those traveling with heavy luggages, just leave it there so you can uh, roam around the city with ease and comfort. That is the last part of our three-part Switzerland travel vlog. So thank you for watching guys. So to summarize the three-part vlog, we focus more on the Jungfrau region, which are the Interlaken, Lutherbrunnen, Grindelwald, Top of Europe. We also explore Zermatt and Zurich. So the tips that I would really recommend you to do is if you wanted to save a lot of money, however you still uh, wanted to enjoy Switzerland, is first is you book a flight in advance. Second, check the cheapest flight. We usually use the Sky Scanner app. Third is fly light. Just have one cabin bag, one hand carry per person. And then buy the Swiss Travel Pass, really. I really would recommend to purchase the Swiss Travel Pass and then the Jungfrau Top of Europe Pass. And then the fifth one is don't eat often or much in the restaurant because they are pricey. You can buy food in their co-op. It's like their convenience store and they have the same quality ingredients and you can just cook it at your hotel. And then book a hotel or a hostel that has their uh, sharing uh, washroom and kitchen because it's more cheaper than a proper hotel. And then the seventh one is get your own water bottle as fresh water is almost free everywhere. I mean. It's almost free, like fresh. And then eight, this is however, 
you wanted to splurge more on the food and the delicacies that you can only find in Switzerland. So it's not always like you want to save money, but you also want to splurge, however, on Swiss-made products. So we mostly buy chocolates, pastries, we usually eat fondue, uh, to name a few. And we usually bought uh, chocolates to give back to our friends back here in the uh, UAE. And then lastly, explore the city first before the villages as you will not feel an excitement to explore the city as you already have seen and experienced the best views of the village. So we really did not explore the cities much. That's why we just rested and stayed rest during our stay in Zurich. We stayed two days in Zurich, but yeah, we just really rested and then went for a picnic on parks because it's like the excitement is not there anymore because we've already seen the best of the best of Switzerland. So if you're planning to visit Switzerland, visit first the cities before the villages. So I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Hope you learned something as well and see you guys on my next travel vlog. Thank you.